Hi everyone and thank you for joining again. Today I will show you how you can make this cute little mobile bag. Um, it has a leaf pattern like you can see here. And we will need D-rings, these book corners, a lock and a second D-ring. And if you like, a nice back chain. Then we will work with raffia. The camera doesn't focus, but it's raffia. And we will need plastic canvas. Plastic canvas. And we work with the darning needle. In order to find the right size for the plastic canvas, you just place your phone on it and then flip it around. I'm filming with my phone, so I need this little box here. And I make it slightly larger on the sides. And then you just cut it out. like this. So leave some space left and right and then cut it. And for the for the top of the bag I cut an additional piece of plastic canvas and later on we will place it slightly over the the other piece and then we will work through both of them to fix the top like this. You just place them on each other and then you work through both of them. In this way you will fix them. So we start in hole number four, counted from the right corner. It's marked here and poke in in hole number four on the vertical line. Then we add two parallel stitches here. Afterwards we work in these two holes like this. Then we work in these two holes these two and the next stitch goes into these two and for the left side of the leaf you just go back the same way like we did on the right side. Like this. Next stitch. Like this. Then three parallel stitches. And the last one is the middle stitch of the leaf. You can make a screenshot here if you like. So let's do this. Hole number four. And then hole number four on the vertical side like this. One, two, three, four. By the way, I work with another yarn here because um, the raffia covers the plastic canvas pretty well, so you wouldn't see anything here on camera. So I decided to use a different yarn to show this pattern to you and afterwards make my bag with a, with a raffia. 
So these are the two parallel stitches. This is the second one. Then poke in in the next hole in the middle of the leaf. So this is the next one. And then go one hole up, one to the left, one to the left like this, poke in there. And again the next hole in the middle of the leaf, like this. And again one hole up, one hole to the left, poke in there. And then the next hole in the middle of the leaf. And poke in there for the tip. So half of your leaf is ready now. For the other side we go back the same way and in the end we add one stitch in the middle of the leaf. So now the last stitch, poke in there where we started, pull through and now you can either poke in there or in the hole once one below like this. So now the second leaf in the first row is placed like this. So the parallel stitches always share the hole. Like you can see here, the green and the gray one poke in in the same holes. They meet in the middle. 
the second row starts where the third parallel stitches meet and poke in in the tip of the leaf like this and if you have to make half leaves on the edge it will look like this and that's it so I will leave that a, a while so that you can make a screenshot if you like so that you can always look up where to poke in so let's do that I start with a half leaf here poke in at the parallel stitch number three poke in in the tip of the leaf and this is my first stitch then we add additional two parallel stitches like this number one number two like this then we poke in in the next hole in the middle one up one to the right one up one to the right poke in and the next one in the middle of the leaf and so on So the next one in the second row will start on this line. So we poke in in these two holes in the tip of the leaf of the first row and then in the same hole like the third parallel stitch like this from here on you add two further parallel stitches remember they share the holes with the neighboring leaf like you can see here I poke in in the same hole like the parallel stitches of the half leaf like this see it here a little close up then go one up one to the left poke in there and so on in this way you finish your leaf.
and the middle part of the leaf. So this is how it should look like now. And in this way you just go on. So like I said in the beginning I left some space on the left and right so I can adjust here because I don't want to end with a half leaf so I just cut off the left edge here and end on a full leaf in the first row like this. So if we work with raffia it will look like this now. Like I said I just placed the top part the, the smaller part slightly over the bottom part and worked through both of them. You can slightly see it here the overlapping part and this is the back. On the inside of the back I just pull the raffia through below the stitches and then cut it off and at the bottom part I filled up the vacant spaces between the leaves with some parallel stitches and at the top I filled these va vacant parts with half leaves cut in a horizontal line. Then I have two side parts. They are uh, in the size of one leaf. As you can see here, one leaf. And in the height that you like. And the top you have to cut like this. Or it's the bottom of the side, better say, sorry. So now we connect the two sides. We use raffia and the darning needle again and now just poke in in the main part and then in the side part. So hold it like this. It's not so easy to hold it on camera as you can see here. And then poke in there. Pull through. And this is how it should look like. Didn't pull the raffia through, so let me adjust this. And now you poke in in the main part again. My neighbor is just drilling. I hope you can't hear that as loud as I am hearing that. And then poke in there again, poke in in the main part, then poke in in the side part and so on. You just go on like this once around the side part. So on a little close up again. And this is how it should look like now. Here a little close up of these of this edge. Just go on like on the sides and I already fixed the D-rings by sewing them on. Now on the top of the back we have this uh, plastic canvas edge here remaining and we will now um, work the raffia around it so that it's covered like on the edge that I, that I just showed. So we just poke in from behind, poke in again from behind and this way the raffia will be placed around the edge. So in the end you just add the book corners, the lock and that's it. Your back is ready.
I hope you liked the tutorial. If so, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for my channel. If you have any questions left, just write a comment.